Unit 3. What's on the agenda? Good morning, Mr. Stewart. Oh, good morning, Anna. What's on the agenda for today? Well, this morning you have a meeting with James. Right. Has he come to the office yet? No, but he called. He said he'll be here by 10. That's fine. And what else is going on today? CS Computer have called, and the new Macintosh have already arrived. Outstanding. That's good news. The Chinese Chamber of Commerce have faxed us a list of importers and distributors of packaging materials. Well done. And here is the information from the Department of Trade regarding quotas and restrictions for the export of paper bags. My goodness, those people have rules for everything. At 11.30, a salesman from Office Max would like to meet with you. About what? Oh, it's about office supplies and furniture. I don't want to meet with that guy, Anna. Um, could you take care of that for me, please? Sure, I can meet with him. Thanks, Anna. I give you full authority to make any purchase decisions. It's all up to you. I trust you. Right, can do. Oh, finally, Forbes magazine called. They would like to interview you for a feature article. Really? That's interesting. Well, schedule them for a lunch next Friday. I already have, Mr. Stewart. Thank you, Anna. I don't know what I would do without you. Well, that's why you paid me the big bucks, Mr. Stewart. Oh, good morning, Anna. What's on the agenda for today? Well, this morning you have a meeting with James. And what else is going on today? The Chinese Chamber of Commerce have faxed us a list of importers and distributors of packaging materials. I don't want to meet with that guy, Anna. Um, could you take care of that for me, please? I give you full authority to make any purchase decisions. Oh, finally, Forbes magazine called. They would like to interview you for a feature article. Really? That's interesting. Well, schedule them for a lunch next Friday. Unit 4, making a query. Those numbers can be tricky. Do you want some help? For me, ratios and percentages cause nothing but headaches and confusion. That's tough, but I've done this a few times before. If you'd like, you can double check all of my calculations. Well, okay. I better take a look because I don't want to make any mistakes and waste time on this. Plus, I want to have a better understanding of all the costs involved. Okay, well, take a look at what I have. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Okay, thanks. Hey, James, I have a question for you. You've entered the legal charges under the fixed cost heading. Uh, yes, so I have. <laughs> Are you sure that's correct? Shouldn't that be a variable cost? Technically speaking, yes, it should be a variable cost. Well, would you like to explain it to me? Well, you may not agree. Well, I don't care. I want you to explain it. This is important. Okay. By entering certain charges as fixed costs as opposed to variable costs, then we can make a bigger deduction in our income tax statements for the first year. Wait a minute. Is this legal? Strictly speaking, no. 
This is not legal. What? Should I remind you that we are businessmen and not politicians? We should be doing everything by the book. Well, we aren't actually breaking any laws. All I did was just follow common accounting practices. Everybody does it this way. James, I'm not sure I like the sound of this. Those numbers can be tricky. Do you want some help? It's tough, but I've done this a few times before. If you'd like, you can double check all of my calculations. Take a look at what I have. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to ask. Hey, James, I have a question for you. You've entered the legal charges under the fixed cost heading. Are you sure that's correct? Shouldn't that be a variable cost? Well, if we aren't actually breaking any laws, all I did was just follow common accounting practices. Everybody does it this way. Unit 5, Getting Help. James, I'd like to ask you a question. Sure thing. What? What do you think if we bring in somebody from outside the company to help with the figures? What do you mean? Well, both of us are going to be very busy with the many details of setting up a new factory. Right. And I think it's okay for both of us to admit that working with numbers is not our strong point. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay. Given that you and I have neither the experience or the expertise for number crunching, wouldn't you agree that it makes sense for both of us to hire an outside consultant to help with the numbers? I agree. Your reasons are solid. I'm happy you agree. Can you think of anyone who may be qualified for the position? Yes, actually. How about Sue? Sue? Which Sue? Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. The woman who prepares our corporate taxes every year. Right, of course. Sue. Well, she's a genius with numbers. Well, why don't we call her to see if she's available? Well, I'm not sure. As a consultant, she works on a freelance basis. Okay. I'll have Anna call her to set up a meeting to see if she's available and interested in this project. James, I'd like to ask you a question. What do you think if we bring in somebody from outside the company to help with the figures? Well, both of us are going to be very busy with the many details of setting up a new factory. I agree. Your reasons are solid. Can you think of anyone who may be qualified for the position? Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. The woman who prepares our corporate taxes every year. Well, why don't we call her to see if she's available? Well, I'm not sure. As a consultant, she works on a freelance basis. Unit 6. Making an appointment. Anna, please set up an appointment with Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. I'd like to meet with her as soon as possible. Right away, Mr. Stewart.
This is Sue Straubel. Hi Sue, this is Anna Baker of Impressive Printing Calling. Hi Anna, how are you? Couldn't be better, thanks. And yourselves? Richie, this is my slow season for work so I don't have much to do. I'm just taking things easy. What's on your mind? Well, Jay Stewart has asked me to set up an appointment with you at your earliest convenience. Really? And what would this be about? Well, Dave and James are working on a new project. They'd like you to go double check their figures in accounting. Hmm. Neither of those guys are good with numbers. <laughs> Don't I know it. And you know, Sue? Yes. Well, you didn't hear this from me, but I think that Dave may ask you to be a full-time consultant for this project. Really? That would be great. Okay, I am free tomorrow. Anytime is fine. How about meeting here at um, 3 p.m.? Perfect. See you then. See you. Bye-bye. Anna, please set up an appointment with Sue Strobel, the financial consultant. I'd like to meet with her as soon as possible. What's on your mind? Well, Dave Stewart has asked me to set up an appointment with you at your earliest convenience. Well, Dave and James are working on a new project. They'd like you to go double check their figures in accounting. How about meeting here at um, 3 p.m.?